If you were to put some oil and water into a jar and shook them up, the oil and water would mix together and form a cloudy looking liquid. But if you were to leave the jar to stand for a few minutes, the oil and water would begin to separate. The oil will rise to the top and form a distinct layer on top of the water. Oil and water do not mix together permanently. But sometimes in cooking we do want oil and water to mix. And we can do that by adding an emulsifier. An emulsifier encourages the oil and water to mix. This is what is done in sauce recipes such as hollandaise sauce and mayonnaise. The emulsifier that's used in these recipes is called lecithin, which is found in egg yolk. This is how an emulsifier works. Emulsifiers are molecules with two ends. One end is attracted to water, it's hydrophilic, it loves water. Whereas the other end is attracted to the oil, this end is hydrophobic, it really doesn't like water. When an emulsifier is added to a mixture of oil and water, its molecules arrange themselves so that they prevent the oil and water from separating, like this. The mixture has now become an emulsion. Emulsions are either oil in water or water in oil, depending on how much oil and how much water is present. Milk, single and double cream, hollandaise sauce and mayonnaise are all examples of oil in water emulsions. Butter, vegetable fat spread and vinaigrette salad dressing are all examples of water in oil emulsions.